Its balance changes, though. That's crazy. Now that I know how it works. Now that I know how the gun works, I already cocooned someone. That's insane! Bro, if you get good with this weapon, you can cocoon anybody. This is really balanced, I love that. <laughs> this is really balanced, I love that, they said. Oh, okay. Holy, I'm stuck in a tree. Are you stuck in a tree? <laughs> There's two humans here. So I don't really want to leave this area. Got another one. You can cocoon everybody, it's insane. Right, one of them's dead. I'm just gonna try and cocoon people this whole match. This this definitely makes us the best gun. This is an S tier gun, now that I know how to do it properly. Before I was like, I'm not sure, it doesn't seem too good. But now I think it's an S tier. S tier gun, hundred percent. Toxic Kamui, Toxic... I th I definitely think this is an S tier gun. We're gonna have to... Actually, you know what? Maybe that's why it... Maybe that's why it wasn't working on uh, certain exits. Maybe that's why. Oh, someone was saying I could break the bridge. Or something myself. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the, the clowns can break it. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Wait, that's huge info. And then I so I basically just made it so that's a one person escape then. Aaron ain't shit, I'm the best survivor. True, true, true. Aaron ain't shit in general though, let's be honest. Um, where's Where's that? Where's that shooting happening? You need help? Oh my god, look at that. That's insane, bro.
You see how fast you can cocoon them? And it's AoE, so it hits multiple people. The reason that it's AoE is because it's so imprecise, but... It can hit multiple people. So I wonder if this means I can fix it. No, it's still bugged. Okay. It's still bugged for the non-tetherable guns. That's insane. You can snipe them? Can we... It's so strong. Four baseballs in a row? Oh my goodness, he loves you. Bruh, I've only cocooned people. Make that five. Wow, your favorite. It is satisfying. <laughs> it's kind of gross, Big Booty Jane, and I don't know if they'll nerf this when they do the weapon balancing, but survivors can 1v1 a clown with certain weapons. Like, if you airform them, they get stunned for so long that you can do it. And it was it was hilarious, because there was someone complaining that the lore is OP, because, you know, you get you get stun locked. It's like a stun lock because you're lured in. And I'm like, bitch, you can hold three air horns. Those are three lures in once with no cooldown. <laughs> it, it does the exact same shit on both sides. And need that's why lore needs to be there. Because survivors have it, they skate with an item. Pummeled by a human, yeah. This is another really good match. Just showcasing how how strong this this gun is. I'm not gonna go the in, I'm gonna go the entire match basically without using uh, my actual weapon, and I'm just going to. Huh. As simple as that. Go the entire match without using my weapon and just cocooning them. It's insane. Oh, is this one full? Oh yeah, that one's full. Wait, we've almost done all of the things. Because I've been cocooning so many people. We'll start Clownpocalypse early if we hook up two more cocoons, I just realized. If you hook up another one, they literally won't be able to escape. We just have to get it into this last, last area. They can get out of the coon if they have a knife or a sharp object like the axe. The axe, the poker, and the knife can free you. The knife is the best though because you can hide it. They'll always be able to see if you have the axe or the poker, so they'll probably just kill you instead of cocooning if they see you have that. One more cocoon, baby, and we've got this win. Well, oh, I guess they're dead anyways. That, the ray gun is so good. It's S tier for sure. And the fact that I can keep up with them with the tiny guy makes it even stronger. Fastest movement speed, maximum stamina. Plus, the best cocooning gun means you can cocoon people left and right. It's insane.